Why are Italian highways so weirdly shaped? The Tangenziale di Napoli is one of Italy's most unique pieces of infrastructure and a powerful example of how geography can shape engineering decisions. Opened in 1972, this 20 km tall road was designed to bypass Naples' historic and densely built up core. But bypass might be the wrong word because instead of going around the city, the Tangenziale goes rather above it. Much of the highway is elevated, threading through hillsides, crossing valleys and even passing directly over residential neighborhoods. This extreme solution was necessary. Naples is squeezed between the Tyrrhenian Sea, the active volcano Vesuvius and layers of ancient urban development. Building wide flat roads at ground level simply wasn't possible. So engineers turned to a mix of viaducts and tunnels, over 60 structures in total, creating one of the most complex urban highways in Europe. Today the Tangenziale handles over 270,000 vehicles per day, serving as the main east-west corridor across the city. It connects residential areas, business zones, the port and key motorways like the A1 and A3. But with its narrow lanes, aging infrastructure and constant congestion, the highway is under increasing pressure, both from traffic and the city's constant seismic activity. It's also a controversial symbol of urban planning, one that shows how short-term transportation needs can override long-term quality of life. I can't imagine living under or next to the Tangenziale. That means constant noise, pollution for thousands of Neapolitans. And yet, despite all of this, it remains vital. A lifeline for daily commuters and a testimony to the challenges of building modern infrastructure in an ancient, topographically extreme city.